there's a lot of pressure these days on women to bounce back. You know, go back to looking exactly like we did before we became moms. And that is like so important, isn't it? But you know what else is important? Number one, getting our organs back to where they're actually supposed to be inside our bodies. When a woman is pregnant, her internal organs actually moved out of the way to make room for the amazing miracle that is happening in her body. So when she gives birth, her body is too busy making sure that her liver is not shoved up her throat and her bladder is no longer flattened like a pen. Okay. Number two, not being able to sit down. It can either be because our baby, God bless him with that big head, ripped the shit out of us. So we've got like 300 stitches down there. Or because let's face it, getting that first poop out is so hard. And nobody told you that that's how you get hemorrhoids. Either way, you're sitting on a cushion that looks like a donut. Number three, parts of our body are leaking. Are you aware of this? We're not just talking about a little you know, a few drops. We are sometimes talking about spraying. We're talking about waking up in a puddle of milk. We are talking about going back to work and realizing that we have just sat through an entire meeting with the whole office staff with two big wet round patches around our nipples. My point is, with all due respect to society's obsession and need for women to bounce back, I think it's safe to say we have some other issues to worry about so and finally I want to say this to all the beautiful women who are taking their time to get back to themselves and see that picture on Instagram of the supermodel who can already zip up her skinny jeans from when she was 16 three hours after she gave birth to her twins she may look like she has bounced back and gone back to being exactly what she was before she gave birth but I can guarantee you that when she sneezes she pisses herself a little bit just like the rest of us.